Good day, everybody. Welcome to episode two of the Half Fluxes FTB Beyond series. Uh, it's night out. I did some storage things, created some storage stores, which is you know, basically this plus a chest and allows me to store all the things. Um, oh, I broke that shirt. Neat. Um, and then I'm just kind of organizing my inventory here. Um, so I've got like ingots, dust and crystals, mob drops, plant drops, mod things. I probably need another set of like, uh, let's do mob drops, plant drops. Which I want this guy to be over here. That way, let's say, I want to say block things. So that's really things like obsidian and uh, commercial. So useful blocks and ores. So that's that way I can put these guys in there. Um, plant drops, mob drops, mob things. We'll say misc vanilla. So that way, let me do put stuff. Oh, that's that's mobbed up. Uh, things like that, and this, and um, makes it a little bit easier to all things need to go. That's plant things, plant, 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 plant. Mob drops, monster slime. That uh, wool, and I think that's it. I tried to get this go back to regular end of site and it just kept I kept putting it in the cockroom table and it kept going to other things. So I should probably turn that off. So let's do that. We'll also put that in there. Put the, put the oak boat in there. And the tracks can go in there. And this, that goes in there. I think that looks pretty good. Um, so the other thing I've done too is I basically have been putting uh, crafting tables in the floor, so it makes it a little bit easier for me to uh, craft all the things. I'll one here too. And eventually, what I'll do is I'll probably get these uh, applied energetics a little bit down the road. So today's episode, what I'm really looking forward to doing is uh, basically get uh, ore doubling mechanic in place and get some mining going on and another bed because I left mine upstairs and I'm gonna go upstairs and get it. So that should give me that. And just because I'm gonna spend a whole lot of time in this room to start, so might as well have my bed here too. And this is still the leftover stuff from last episode because I continue to play. So um, and that's what Minecraft does is it doesn't reset your uh, chat history until you log out and log back in or log in. Close the game so you again. So that's basically on here. That's uh, I should probably change sword. up one of these days, but not quite yet. I also have, see, let's see what we can do for order. I know actually additions is in here, uh, and they have the double, let's see, double grind crusher, which I believe is black quartz, which is, can only be found. I think in this pack, actually, black quartz only comes from black orange quartz or say or uh, black. the black quartz is that what I need. Let's see furnace. 
I need a crusher to start. So crusher, black quartz. It's being made from another coal and another quartz, which comes from another. It comes from smelting crushed black quartz, which comes from black quartz. And I can also get it here, which I, does not appear to have wor world gen in it because, if I'm not mistaken, like iron ore, if I click it, it tells me where I can find it well. So I have to get quartz to get black quartz. Interesting. And void up miner doesn't need to do it either. And alchemy, that must be embers. Interesting. I'm probably going to hold off onto embers so I can play with it in, um, that way I can play with, with it in 11.2, which I haven't started playing yet. So uh, I know that Ellicent's been playing a lot more, uh, like has actually got a progression there. At least that's kind of what I've seen and heard around the room. Now. So let's see. All right, I am going to play with more mechanics. So what other double mechanics do there? Other, let's see. Let's take a look at the mod list. Let's see. Let's see, iron dust, is that a thing? The crush. Iron, let's see, let's see if we can't find iron ingot. And from iron ingot, we should be able to get crushed iron ore, or iron grit, or crushed iron. Small piles. I can get that from macerator, compressor, crusher. I wonder what I need to make a crusher. The quartz grindstone, pulverizer. It needs copper, gold, which I don't think I have. Machine frame, tan. Yeah, I don't have that kind of stuff yet. So I think what really it's going to boil down to is. I'm gonna have quartz to do the grindstone mob drops. Oh, mine spike. There you go. Uh, this guy in there. And I'll just do the blue. But there and there. Actually, what about Ender IO? Because it has a crusher sagmo, that's what it's called. Let's see, sagmo. There's piston iron that requires gold and flint, which I can probably get. So do I have enough gold? I don't. Have gold. I got it. So it looks like I just need to go mining. So I'm just gonna do this and do that. There. Oh, not there. How much slow do I have? Actually, I think step one is going to go find some cows so I can get some more leather. Unless I can. Unless I can do zombie flesh. And I think I can actually. Drawing rack. Nope. Industrial squeezer. Interesting. Mob drops, horses. Yeah, we knew that. Atomic reconstructor, but I think that also is going to require not to the nether. Rabbit hide, imp hide. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that the drying rack would do it this time, but definitely not. Okay, cool. Probably a good idea to get some food going on too. Let's see. That's a sheep. I wonder, I think I can do this. Oh look, there's iron over there, that's awesome. Let's see, yeah, you guys can see how far I traveled for trying to find a place to live. And I ended up way down here. It started somewhere, like here, and went up and around and down. Ended up with a place with like three different villages, got Slime Island, and the snow biome, which is kind of close to my heart because I love snow, so. But I didn't want to like be in snow because it's kind of pain in the butt to deal with uh, managing the map resets. 
I want to see mob display, small dots, large dots, small icons, large icons. That. I'm not sure which preset I have, so we'll just do both. Just close, close. Cool. And I see some cows across the street. Dude. You know, it's funny. I went and spent you know, 30 seconds doing that when I could have just literally looked across the map. Ooh, clay. Like I say, I really like having the most of because it makes things like this way nicer. Because for two reasons. That way you guys don't have to sit and watch me mine out like all of the sand and obsidian and gravel or whatever. And also for my life too. I don't have to spend three days mining uh, gravel. So it makes kind of a win-win situation. And uh, alright, Mr. Kai, you ready for this? <laughs> Did I get anything? No other. Shame. No. Let's go that time. No. No. And only one piece of leather, because I think I need four, right? So iron, backpack, yeah. I need four pieces of leather. I think I already got the wool, so we're good. I think Tinkers is going to be the starting place here, guys. For the, uh, or doubling the cannon. As much as I was trying to find something different, because I, we, it seems like I always default to, to tinkers, but it's just a such a good mm. mechanic. Mm. Okay, so I need one more cow, and there's some across the stream. I need more gravel for so to make a, a um, tinker's construct smelter you need sand gravel and clay so that's fine just picking that stuff up in case I do decide I want to do that actually we'll just go down here real quick Something like that I'm not use that. so pro tip if you're using a website later make sure not to uh, <laughs> Make sure not to use like your sword or whatever because it will use up all of your durability on it. So that's why I use like something like a steak because steak has durability. Don't question the lore because you know it makes perfect sense mining with a steak versus a pickaxe for gravel it makes more sense, but you know it is what it is. There we go. Okay. Cool, so I got five, I don't need that, and I don't need old root. And flip side, cool, I got some nice steak. Or well, beads, which is soon to become steak, which would be awesome. And I grab some iron real quick. Perfect timing about this too is it looks like I'm gonna get back to the house right before uh, it gets dark. One nice thing about the works with the mod is because I am using, um, I don't think I might be using it, so, uh, I have it tied to hunger, so the more I use it, the like, faster it makes me go through hunger, which makes me go through food quicker. Um, uh, which, you know, is good and bad. I don't have the Spice of Life on here. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if it's in 110 or not. But, um, yeah. And the other thing I should do is think about playing some stairs here, because click, 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 click. All right, now we're here. And let's go sleep real quick. Oh, man. So, let's see, mod drops useful blocks and ores, I may actually just do that, and that, and do I have any other chests on me, I'll just do this real quick, so I'm going to go ahead and make another storage door so I can put the gravel in it, which would be nice, and put that there, and put that there, grab this stuff. Which is useful. Uh, ingots, dust, and crystals. I'm gonna say flint is a crystal as well as coal. 
because reasons. And that goes there. And do me drops. Yep, so I'm glad I did that. Let's go to this. Don't need that. Need this. Actually, don't need that. Uh, and my furnaces. So we'll do not that, but we'll do that. Don't need that. And we'll just burn that extra piece up, even though that was a terrible idea to think I'm sure it would. It's kind of dangerous because I need a chest to make. Uh, I need a chest to make a. Um, Need a chest to make a backpack. So silly. Stairs is definitely on the agenda. Be nice too if I did something like maybe I can move this wall off to the side and have stairs that go like here and here and then have one that go underneath so if I come to split level that might be fun to do slash figure out mod things vanilla things so we'll save beads with iron drops and take a mark over here to that there we go I believe it's something like that and then to get an iron backpack I need a another chest and seven iron which I think I can do cheap because if you do this quicker then that way you can make them go vanilla and what I say I needed I forget chest backpack and seven iron Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do that, that, that. Cool. So that gives me. Cool. Then I put that guy here. And vanilla thing. Put my sword there. And I am going to need some torches. So So the thought here is to grab an actual quick, which allows me to go chop down some more wood quicker. Then I can start mining. And I'll grab a tree real quick and bring them back. One of these days I should think about getting a tree farm up and going. And speaking of which, I'm gonna get rid of this stuff. Shrubby bushes, I think they're silly. more than enough wood for torches for mining, which is good. And we'll put this at three and put that right there. So I'm at Y level 89, 90. Hmm. Okay. That's gonna be a long way down. Uh, food. There we go. Sticks. Put those guys in there. Gone. There. Chests probably don't need. Could use a furnace down there with me so that way if I'm mining stuff I can just go ahead and keep mining. And so with that I am going to start digging a tunnel for mine. And how I like to do my tunnels is kind of fun. Uh, I won't say fun but is uh, I like to dig them straight down so that way um, I don't know, I just like put a bucket or something underneath them. Ooh, speaking of which, I think I can do it 
real quick, which should make this a little bit nicer. Let's see, slime boots, slime boots, mop drop, slime. One, two, three, four. I think, there we go. Perfect. Ah. So, if I do this. So the andesite problem I was talking about, I put this in here, trying to get to opening it back to regular one. It's like it would cycle three. It doesn't cycle three, it just does that. So that's a thing. I'm gonna bring those down there, bring that with me. Actually, I'm gonna put that stuff in here. All right, cool. So, Now I'm basically just going to do is that and see if I come down this way. It'd be cool if I made this a tower eventually too. I may do that actually, but not right now. Okay, so one, as I was explaining my mind, tunnel technique is really nothing fancy. It's just this. And then I dig out the, cent the center here, which allows me to eventually fall down so that way by going up and down and stuff is way quicker but I've got 79 oh gosh, yeah, exactly I got 79 uh, layers to go so I will be back then so I'm down to Y14 I've gone through two pickaxes and I literally just broke it like 30 seconds ago and it's perfect because check this out Taking a look at it, or looking at it in diamond, max is, you know, 11.2%, somewhere in there. And then gold ore, oh, that's deep dark, my bad. Yeah, okay, that's what I was saying. So 0.08%, around 13-ish. And then gold ore on the overworld is still pretty good at that same level. It's better, a little bit higher. But I think it'd be good just because um, it, over, it overlaps with the, with the diamond um, probabilities pretty well. So the other thing that I got is Sapphire, which allows me to do this, which gives me, I believe, more iron pickaxe. Oh crap. I wanted to do that 250, and this gives me 512. So that's a much better durability, which is awesome. I think it's just a touch bit faster. Um, so now what I get to do is, so you can see that's the top of my base way up there. And, ooh, electric team or Cool. Um, so basically I like to do this, keep my mining cave clean. And I'm gonna do a three by three here and I'll just start This guy here. I know it's not the most um, efficient method, but it means I don't have to go up and back and forth all the time, which is good. And I'm gonna drop up chest here as well. Actually, not there. Silly me. So I'm going to uh, basically mine out this pickaxe and then probably go upstairs and build a smeltery. smeltery. So I kind of use the ore excavator a little bit here to help me out, which is cool. And I don't really care about diorite that much, but it kind of it opens up uh, caverns for me, which is awesome for so you kind of do this, and I will be back when I have um, either found.
found some good ores. Oh, speaking of which, emeralds. So, you know, I said I'd be back when I found some good ores. Kind of seems like it's happened already a little bit, which is awesome. And let's go here. And that's nifty. It's a little bit risky because I did the, you know, the whole uh, old, the tilde key and see what happens. But it does pull it to you a little bit, which it's risky because of the, it, there might be lava there. But I thought it was worth the risk. So I took it and it worked out. a little bit because it makes it a little bit nicer for me. I don't know, weird. Um, but it's cool. And I am recording YouTube videos, so that's kind of fun. Alright, let's see. Let's that. Alright, now we're back. So, so after 200 blocks of mining, still haven't seen any gold or Amador, which kind of sucks, but the good news is I got all of this stuff, which is awesome. We got a ton of redstone and other things I can use. So I think I'm going to do is abandon my quest for gold and uh, diamond and go use the resources I've got to go get a tinker's smelter real quick before the end of the episode, which shouldn't be, take me too much, uh, too long to do, because I already collected all the sand and gravel. So let me get up the stairs and put this stuff away, and then we will be right back. So I just missed the last recording, the last segment, and basically I just crafted some grout and realized that I'm going to be just a little bit short, which is fine. And then as I was walking out the door, I ran into this guy, which is small. And terrifying to start with. And there's also this ember guy too who wants to fight me. Cool. So now I'm on my way to go get some gravel and being attacked all over the place, which is fine. Ha! That's not gravel. This should go. Six gravel. All right, I need a little more than that. That's not gravel. This is gravel. Sixty. That's not gravel. Oh yeah, I can do this too. So I can go here. Sand. So I've got two stacks because really each piece of grout cooks down to. Um, each piece of grout cooks down to one brick, which then is needed. You need four um, bricks per actual brick. What I mean is, if we do here, so I need four of these guys to get one of those guys, which I actually build with. So I need, I typically like to get four stacks of grout going. This guy and I think that's that. What do I have? I got one, two, three. So just a little bit more gravel. Alright. Oh man. A lot of mining. I can't believe I mined that much went through effectively three pickaxes. I did two of the iron and then a sapphire pickaxe, which is effectively four pickaxes, I was about to say, and still no gold or uh, diamond ore, which is concerning, but we will persevere and learn some more gravel. Okay, I will come back once I get all the gravel and, oh, there's some right over here. Um, I'll come back once I get the gravel and Four stacks, and I'll start smelting that up, and then we can go ahead and build 
the Tinker's Construct, uh, or the Small Tree before the new episode. So I'll be right back. Alright, so what I've done is took uh, all the coal that I had, turned it into tiny coal, and then I went ahead and created eight furnaces to make this go faster. So I can do that, 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 that. Three more. Nah, I accidentally created four extra. No big deal. This cooks up, we will come back and go ahead. Actually, while we're waiting for it to cook, we'll cook up, let's figure out where we want to put our, our smeltery. So, let's take a look out here. Yeah, Creeper attempted to get me. But I won in the end, which is fun. So I could go right out here and do it off the side. That'd be kind of cool. So four. Oh, yeah, it'd be nice if I had. And which was no fun. There we go. That and go here. So I think I should do this. It's a little bit bigger. Put the small tree back here and kind of clean this up. There's not a ton of room there. Just open up that wall right there and have it in here. Then I can put all of the miscellaneous. Things are actually different dimensions. They're off the size of a single block, which isn't that. Mr. Ender, where are you? I just want to talk to you with the pointy end of my sword. I wonder if he's like... Oh, there he is.
Woohoo for Centerfold. Alright. That was fun. Okay, so it looks like I did not get to Ord Upland. But I think the first uh, part of next episode except I think there's a construct. You can go from there because I think yeah, all this stuff just finished up. So with that, I hope everyone has a good day and I will see you for episode three.